So I want to show you how you can turn your ZV1 into into the FX1 or FXZV1 or whatever branding name you can come up with. That's the FX and ZV1 combined. Um, I'll be doing some probably beauty shots so you can see this better. I'm using low lights for dramatic effect for this talking headpiece. So then I got the Alpha Guard and it's a protective skin that goes over your could go over your camera, could go over your laptop, could go on your phone. And sorry, I'm, I'm looking at it for the first time, so I'm not looking at you, because I haven't really looked at it much, but it's, it's definitely beautiful. And I'm really happy with it. It was so easy because I really just had to do the top a little bit and the side, and I didn't have to do the bottom or the back. Super easy, and then you can see, whoop, the reason I'm turning my ZV-1 into something that appears like it's from the FX Cinema line is for a silly reason. And if you saw my last video where I did this with the Sony a7C, and you can check it out there, it, it was for cosmetic reasons, obviously only, um, but it was also because I love the FX3 and I do want that to be a camera that I'm working towards. So what I actually ended up doing because I've rigged out my Sony a7C is that I, instead of upgrading to a bigger camera, I downgraded to a smaller camera. And the Sony ZV-1 is amazing because I put it in my pocket and I carry it around and I use it all the time. Whereas now my a7C is sort of just on the sticks all the time and it's just ready to go. And I'm not breaking down the rig much just to put it back into a compact mode, which seems to defeat the purpose and I get it. So my ideal scenario is I have the ZV-1, the A7C and the FX3. And that'll be sort of my lineup of cameras that I have. Um, so a good A, B and C. So I just wanna show you everything that I have. So I've got the Alpha Guard and I'm going to open it and you can see all the pieces. You have to scan the QR code to sort of see the actual directions, which I'll put up. This is for the grip, which I won't be using. And this is the stencil or the sticker, I guess. So what I'll do first, I have a razor and a ruler, because I will have to be cutting. I've got scissors just to help. I've got a little cleaning spray, got a little Adorama <laughs> cloth, and then another straight edge just in case. I'm gonna start off by cleaning. So the first thing that I realize is because you don't have to do everything is that I do, I'm not going to need to use the bottom. So the bottom is gonna be clear from the color the handle, so it's really just the side and the top, which is basically just this piece. So, I got a ruler, and I've been cutting line scores across it. And now I should be able to peel the sticker off. But what I'll do, just to be extra cautious, is I'm gonna come in with um, scissors and cut around. This camera is amazing and it does so many more things than I thought it could. And it was one of the best purchases I've ever had. And I use the GoPro a lot to do speed lap stuff and action cam stuff, but I sort of replaced it as a vlogging camera with the ZV-1. So because it's in my hand a lot, I wanna love it even more. And I love black finishes on things, but the FX the cinema line of cameras, I just love that sort of, sort of silvery gray. Alpha Guard. And it's a protective skin that goes over your, could go over your camera, could go over your laptop, could go on your phone. So it's meant mainly just to be sort of a scratch resistant um, skin that goes over it. And, but I use it for cosmetic purposes because I love how it looks when it's, you know, just a little bit different. And I feel like if you love your camera more for any reason, you're gonna use it more. And it seems like a superficial reason, but it's not because I love having sort of 
them all look like they're from the same line and <laughs> they probably did look like that before I put the skin on my A7C, um, but here we are. And it was just another reason to do one of these time-lapse videos because I would have never normally picked up this product because I would have thought it was too hard. And after watching videos of other people putting this on, I realized I think I can do it. The only thing that I haven't seen anybody do, one is to make these FX cinema line cameras um, on these non-cinema cameras and by customizing the pieces. So you are going to have to cut them and modify them. But because most of the FX cameras are not completely wrapped in that silver, there's a lot of pieces that are black. So there's very few pieces that I actually have to use from this. That product mode is amazing. I don't have to worry about finding focus and hiding my eyes and doing this whole thing. And I can just put it close to the camera and whatever. So 